This is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. One of the toughest things about being a tractor owner is getting the darn tractor hooked up to the darn brush hog. And it's a process that I've always struggled with as well. Uh, you always seem to be off just a little bit, especially if you've got these lower link arms that are fixed that don't extend out. It, it can be a real tough process. Well, I learned something I should have known decades ago from a viewer here recently that I'm gonna share with you a little bit later on that's gonna make this process a whole lot easier. It's something I wish I'd have known growing up, wish dad would have known. We never even thought about it. Works like a charm to make this process easier. Before we get to that, first thing today, if ever there was a time to use my sponsor's products, it's now, before you even back the tractor up to the cutter. I use my WD-40 Specialist Multi-Purpose Grease. I pull the PTO shaft out and I apply some of the grease to the PTO shaft, the metal part, and then before I slide it back together, the plastic shield, I put some around that too. You want that shaft to slide in and out easily. If you don't, you're gonna be fighting it when you're hooking up the tractor. Now on the tractor, we're gonna use WD-40 in the Easy Reach can, and I love this because it's got a, an applicator that is adjustable that will twist around, and some of these places are a little bit tight. We're going to apply some on the stabilizer arms, the part that you have to tighten up to keep the cutter from going back and forth around the tractor. And the place it's critical to put some WD-40 is in the adjustable three-point arm. And usually that's on the right side if you're sitting on the tractor seat. You want that to go up and down easy because when you get it all hooked up, you're going to level the machine and you want that to be real easy to twist because you're pulling the weight of the machine up when you try to adjust it and make it level. Now we're gonna back up to the cutter. I always like to back up with my arms in a narrow position. And, and I've got a strap here keeping these narrow because I can always lift them up and spread them out. And that way I don't have to worry about trying to get around the pins. I keep my three-point arms low because I can always lift them up. I can't push them down. Once I get backed up, you'll notice that I'm off a little bit. My pin on, on both sides actually, are, I mean, my tractor's not far enough back. Now, in the old days, what I would do is get back on the tractor and back up again and, 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 and use the tractor to try to get the cutter lined up. But there's a whole lot easier way of doing that. This tool right here is an old axle shaft, been around our family probably for 40 years. And any kind of a pry bar like this will get your cutter lined up really easy. And what we're going to do, we're going to put this pry bar under the cutter, and this is so easy. I'm surprised at how easy this is. We're going to actually scoot the cutter forward with the pry bar using the advantages of the lever. You'll see how easy it is to scoot the cutter just where I want it. it may take a couple of tries to get it there. But a lot of the weight of the cutter is actually on the, the tail wheel. So this is an easier process than I ever thought it would be. And once we get the left side if you're sitting on the tractor seat hooked up we're going to move around to the right side and i'm going to show you you don't have to have this heavy axle tool uh, i'm taking a, a pipe that i found just laying around the shop it's an, about an inch pipe a little less than five feet long and that works fine as a lever to get this lined up now's the time to attach the pto and because we squirted it with wd-40 it slides in and out easy this tractor has a PTO shaft that spins when the tractor shut off, and always do this with the tractor shut off. Now, on some tractors, the one I own is one of them, you can't spin a PTO shaft, with the, even with the tractor off. So if that's the case, I have to pick up the cutter at this point, start the tractor, pick up the cutter so the blades will spin, and then I can spin the, the uh, PTO shaft on the cutter and get it lined up. But on a lot of tractors, you can, you'll get all greasy, but you can spin this PTO shaft on the tractor and get it lined up. Then you pull the collar back on your PTO shaft. On some tractors, you twist a collar. On some, you pull the collar back. And on some tractors, you push a rod from side to side to release a, a catch to slide onto the PTO shaft. A lot of people think you push that collar forward to release the ball bearings to get on your PTO shaft. You almost always pull it back, pull that collar back, and then you can slide it on and slide it past the groove in the PTO shaft and pull it back. You'll hear those ball bearings snap in place, or on, on the, again, on some tractors, it's a rod, and you're good to go. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is hook up our top link.
and we're ready to go to the field. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions or comments, put them down below. We'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.